Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with the Burnettes. So my name is Maddie. I'm a wife, a mom, and a cook from Mississippi. So I'm from Mississippi. I love to be in the kitchen, and I want you to come along on this journey with us. So in today's episode, we're going to be cooking chicken tetrazzini. Trying to make sure I get that right. Yes. So first, of, first off, we're going to go ahead and season the chicken. Let it come to a boil, let it get completely cooked through, and we're going to shred that up. So, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to go ahead and season it, and I'm going to bring you guys over here to see all the ingredients that I have to make this dish so delicious. So, to get started, we have the chicken tenderloin. You can use chicken breast. You can also use a rotisserie chicken, and that would actually cut your time in half. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. So we're going to season it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And the ingredients that we're going to use to make this um, dish delicious, we're going to use the thin spaghetti, cream of chicken, shredded cheese, cream cheese, and of course, the Velveeta. So let's go ahead and get started with seasoning our chicken. And we're going to put it, so salt. And it's going to go in the water, but this just helps me know how much seasoning I'm actually putting on it. We're going to season this dish through. So once it comes out of the water, I'm going to add more seasoning to it. And we'll just season as we go. Flip this. Flip every piece over. Also consider subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment. What part of the other country are you all from? I'm from the South, as I just told you all. So what area of the country are you guys from? And it also calls for chicken broth, but you know, with this, we're gonna have some broth because we boiling the chicken ourselves. So I'm just gonna save some of that water, well, some of that broth. I'm gonna add it to the pasta. Nice and seasoned. Let's go ahead and put it in the pot and let it cook. Go ahead and turn this on. Medium to high heat. And these are cut so thin that it's only going to take at least 45 minutes. So how has everyone's day been? You know, I got to check on y'all to see how everybody has been doing. I hope it's been going good. Did you guys celebrate Juneteenth? If so, what did you do? So we're going to go ahead and let this come to a boil and cook all the way through. We're going to shred it up. We're going to use this same pot to cook the thin spaghetti. And once you know all of that is done, we just have to bring everything together. Look y'all, a lot of the seasoning actually stayed on the chicken. It smells delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and get this shredded and get the spaghetti in the water. Let it come to a boil and we're gonna bring this delicious dish together. Yummy. Okay, so the noodles have been cooked halfway and we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken in. We're gonna add some of the broth in. 
This is going to help everything come together. We're going to go ahead and start adding the cheese. Mix everything together. Then the chicken. I'm gonna cook these noodles maybe two to three minutes. We're not gonna cook them all the way through. I don't know if I said that in the video at first. If I did, we're not gonna cook these all the way through because they're gonna continue to cook in the oven. Go ahead and add some of our shredded cheese. Velveeta, and then I'm gonna add some more seasoning. Let all this get mixed in, taste it, see if it needs more seasoning for you. That's what we're about to do. I'm gonna give this a taste once this cheese melts down. So I'm gonna add the cream cheese. Oh my goodness. So we're going to stir everything in. Have it on low. Let all the cheese and stuff melt. Taste test, taste test number one. Another spoon over there because we're going to do two, two taste tests. Y'all watch the clap. If y'all see the clap, y'all know it's good. Y'all know it is good. Just a little bit more salt. And a little bit more garlic. And of course, we're going to black pepper. And we're going to do the and this isn't going to add any flavor. It's just going to make it look a little pretty. So let's add this in. This one may pop as well. Give this a good stir really quickly. And we're going to put it in this um, aluminum pan. Give it a stir so I can do a taste test with my other fork. This melt. Okay, I see most of the cheese is melted. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Eat this with some garlic bread. I think I'm going to do some green beans. I'm going to saute them on top of the stove with a little bit of garlic and some butter. And it's going to bring the whole meal together. A piece of cheese is melting. Last taste test before it goes in the oven. I think that it's gonna be okay this time. 
So at this point, we're going to go ahead and um, put it in the oven and cover it with some of the shredded cheese. So all of the shredded cheese doesn't go on the inside. We're actually going to cover the top with shredded cheese as well. So delicious. This is good to go with the season and everything. We're going to go ahead and put it in this aluminum pan. This is the size that I have. And it's going to go in the oven 350 degrees for, I say, about 15 minutes because it's basically done with just letting the cheese melt and letting all the flavors go ahead and simmer and come together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. Once it comes out, I'm going to plate it up and show you guys how it looks. Okay, y'all, this just came out of the oven. This is the final product of the chicken tetrazzini. Yummy. So I thank you guys so, so much for coming back with another, coming back for another episode of In the Kitchen with the Burnettes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.